Hi, I've received an email this week from Australia uh, asking my opinion on lag and whether it's a good thing to be doing in the golf swing or not. And you'll see an awful lot of videos out there saying that you've it's such an important part. Well, in my opinion, I don't think it is an important part. And in, in many cases, it can destroy golf swings and golf shots. Uh, and let me just explain to you why that is. So lag, if you don't know what it is, is the angle between the shaft of the golf club and the arms. And they're saying that the longer we hold that, the more acceleration you get down at the golf ball. Well, commonly what happens when we are trying to do something, we'll generally hold on to the golf club tighter. Now don't forget in the positive impact world, tension is the number one enemy of the golf swing. So trying to do something is probably gonna cause more tension. Now the issue that happens is that when we're trying to do that and the tension builds up, the grip gets tighter, it's much, much harder to release the club head. Um, so why try to do it in the first place? I would much sooner see somebody releasing the club back at impact than trying to hold the angle and not never releasing it. And you can see from here, if I hold onto this angle too long, there's my wide open club face and off the ball goes to the right. Also can very easily make you top the golf ball. But the other thing that you tend to see is how people's body reacts to that movement. So if we're holding onto the angle, you'll often see this movement through impact. So the right side of your body tends to collapse and there's that wide open club face. Then they're saying, try and release it, extend out in front, but make sure you're keeping your head down. I mean, how bad is that? That's really gonna start to hurt, hurt your body, but it hurt, certainly hurt your golf shots. And I think one of the worst things that we can do is that high right block. It's just soul destroying when you're playing. So in my opinion, don't try to hold the leg. What I would much prefer is people to release the club head much more efficiently. Yeah. And if you actually slowed that down, you'd probably see a natural lag anyway, but then we want that release of the face. So if we're hitting a golf ball with a face that's pretty square and attacking the ball from the correct angle, you're gonna hit some nice golf shots. So if I was you, I would avoid lag. And I've done it in the past and I've hit some tremendous shank shots uh, because of not actually releasing that club. So I did that with an iron. Great way to shank the golf ball because you're just presenting the shank of the golf club to the golf ball and then often to the right it'll go. So um, I wouldn't be trying to, to hold the lag if I was you. Remember our first principles, our tension is the number one enemy. So keep that grip nice and light learn to release that club face efficiently. Uh, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.